go away. Go away. Say hi. 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 No. Hi, y'all, and welcome back to Christy Creates. Obviously, I am not Christy. Um, but I am Christy's daughter, Erin, and this is my daughter, Flora, which you've probably seen her in previous videos. Today we are going to make a hash brown casserole. Um, this is a recipe that um, was given to um, Mama, aka Christy Creates, um, by one of our cousins, Diane, um, on, in our family. So we have been making it, you, now you're waving. Um, we've, my mom has been making it for quite some time. Um, it's one of my favorites. Um, side dishes or even I would eat this as a main course no problem um, that she makes and I request it all the time um, it's really good for parties which this is that's why I'm making it today I am going to a Christmas party um, so and there's gonna be about 40 people there and so we are going to make a double batch of the hash brown casserole so as you'll see in this video we are gonna be um, doing two of everything and I'll kind of review that a little bit what the normal recipe would call for and then what today we're doing as far as making that a dub double recipe um, please excuse that sometimes <laughs> I do things out of order and um, it just seems a little bit wacky but just stay tuned and bear with us or bear with me Flora here is about to go down for a nap she has been a little bit sickly um, we have a little cold and um, fever. We call this her spirit ponytail. Usually it's sticking straight up, so that's how you know that her spirit is just not up to par. Yeah, and we're not feeling very good because her ponytail is a little, you know, lopsided. So her spirit meter has gone down because she's not feeling well. But I am so excited to share this recipe, and I hope that you guys can um, share it with your family, your friends, and um, whoever you might be spending this holiday season with. So let's get bacon. Actually, let's go put the baby down for now, and then we'll get bacon. Right. Right. Mwah. All right. Started the oven. I'm going to start off with... Um, chopping up the onion. I need to find something that I can chop this up on. Okay, found a boar. Got a knife. So I thought while I'm cooking, instead of me boring you about just talking about, not that that's, you know, I just feel like I'm boring. <laughs> um, I'm going to go through some holiday questions. I thought that would be something different. Um, so as I'm cooking, I will explain what I am doing, but I'm also going to have these fun Christmas questions that I'll answer and then feel free to comment below and answer them yourselves. Um, hopefully that is fun for you. So the first question I am going to answer is, hmm, if you had a private plane for a day where would you and your family where would you fly your family to that's a good question um I never really thought about it um I think I would want to fly somewhere out of the U.S. for those of you who don't know um we are we're in Georgia and me personally I've never really been I haven't really been a lot of places, um, but I have been to like the surrounding states. And um, anyways, I would probably want to go somewhere like out of the country, like Ireland. I love Ireland. I love that movie. P.S. I love you. If you've never seen it, highly recommend. That's kind of a, it's a Christmas movie, kind of where it's centered around Christmas, but um, word. Heads up, it is very sad because it's about a woman who loses her husband and um, uh, you'll just have to see it. But it's very good. It's got Hillary Swank in it, um, which she does really great stuff. So um, I probably should have went ahead and just did this already. 
I'm just gonna take this layer off. So I think I would wanna go somewhere like Ireland, just because that's kind of somewhere that sounds interesting and I know it's very pretty. Um, so yeah, that would be my answer. I'm curious to hear where some of you guys would want to go. All right, so we can finally get cutting. Mama is probably gonna watch this back and be like so horrified with how I am cutting this onion. Um, honestly, if I'm, <laughs> if we're being truthful here, let's just have a truth session. I don't do much out of the box cooking. As some of you know, I have a um, 10 month old daughter, Flora, who has, you've seen in some of these videos. Um, she, <laughs> as anyone who knows, who has, who has kids, who knows kids, um, you just don't have a ton of time to, to cook. Um, especially when you're a first time mom just trying to you're just taking it day by day um, and then working full time I just have not oh my eyes are starting to water I have not gotten to the point where I'm just living my best housewife um, life yet um, well I'm not really a housewife I do work but nothing wrong with housewives um, so yeah, so she's probably going to be like, Aaron, really, have I taught you nothing? But you know what? It gets the job done. Ooh, my eyes. It's so funny because this normally does not hurt my eyes. Anybody else not really, <laughs> are you not much of a cooker? I hope to be one day. My goal in life is um, to host like Thanksgiving or Christmas. We haven't gotten the opportunity to do that like at our own home. All right, I just wanna wash my hands. All right, so let's read these directions. Um, so it says to go ahead and saute the, the chopped onion in a, little, um, in a little butter, and then combine all ingredients except the cornflakes and the one stick of butter. So I am gonna go ahead and add all the ingredients together so we'll start with we'll start with the um the cream of chicken soup so it's just going to be one can need a spoon and then i'm going to do the mayonnaise um, and then I will probably move on to the cheese, actually the sour cream. I'm gonna do all of the, um, the liquid stuff. And as I'm doing that, we'll go on to my next question. Would you rather have a white Christmas or a warm Christmas? I would rather have a white Christmas. I am somebody who, I enjoy cold weather. I enjoy, um, you know, bundling up in scarves and um, just really enjoying all the Christmassy things. Um, funny fact about me though is that I don't, and my husband totally makes fun of me, 
I do not really care for Christmas music. I feel like such a Scrooge saying that. Um, but I don't. But um, one of my favorite Christmas songs, one of my favorite songs is that it actually has no words in it. <laughs> This just, me just saying this, this out loud just makes me sound like a total Christmas hater. I am not. Um, but the Trans-Siberian Orchestra, the, I think it's Bells of Christmas or something like that. Um, but it's very like intense. I'm gonna take this spoon. All right, so we're gonna scoop a half a cup of mayonnaise in here. Um, but yeah, I would prefer a white Christmas. I am not really a summer gal. Don't really care for the summer. My husband loves summertime. Um, but I just, I don't know. I'm very hot natured, so just hot weather just does not fancy me. So I'm going to add this. Again, if Mama saw the steps that I how, like the how I was doing this, she'd probably be like, "Oh my gosh!" All right, now I'm gonna do the let's see the sour cream. So, so the sour cream. So tell me below what you guys would prefer. Do you prefer a white Christmas? or a warm Christmas. When I think of warm Christmas, I think of that saying like Christmas in July. Like is that your ideal weather situation? Alright, so eight ounce oh wait, hold on. Eight ounce of sour cream. So this is a 16 ounce. I was just gonna make one batch, but I guess I'm gonna mix both. So let's add the rest of the, the cream of chicken as well. So in a typical, if you were making one, one serving of this, you would only do um, one can. And then let's do another cup of, or half cup of mayonnaise. While I'm doing this, I'll ask my next question. If you were given $5,000 to help other people, how would you spend it? So it's funny that that is on here because I am very, Christmas to me is very much about helping those. It's just a giving time of year. Um, whether it's giving to people who don't have as much as you might have or even people who, who do have as much as you have, sometimes um, just giving, I mean, words of encouragement or, you know, spreading positivity doesn't necessarily have to mean, um, be for people who are quote unquote less fortunate. Um, so I am really trying to make a point um, in the years to come to um, give back to others. I'm gonna add this whole thing of sour cream because the an recipe for one serving um, calls for eight ounces and this is a 16 ounce so we're gonna do, we're doing two um, batches. I should say batches, not servings because one serving sounds like you know one you would eat for yourself. So I'm gonna do 16 ounces of sour cream but yeah, I'm really trying to encourage my family. We have a large family. Um, and it's just only getting larger to be more involved with, um, you know, doing more for other people. Because honestly, if we really, if we really um, admit to it, none of us really need anything. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. So I really want to like adopt a family or, you know, give children, other children a Christmas that they might 
um, not otherwise have. I've been trying to be more positive and when I'm encountering people, I work in healthcare, so, um, and I'm a social worker, so that's a double whammy. <laughs> um, a lot of people don't like hospitals and a lot of people don't like social workers. Um, one second so next I am going to add the let's see sour I did the sour, mayonnaise sour cream chicken soup cream of chicken soup I'm gonna do the cheddar so this calls for eight ounces of cheddar again since we're doing two servings we're gonna do two bags of eight ounce cheese So yeah, I work in a hospital and I'm a, a hospital social worker and, um, you know, there's just kind of a negative, um, not everybody loves the word social worker. Um, I'm, you know, we're not all bad and, you know, we really are there to help you as best as, as, best as we can, but being in the hospital environment is just a very be overwhelming because you're bringing um, a lot you know whether it's things going on at home and then now you've been hit with whatever medical condition that you're at the hospital for and it can just be a lot and it can make you a little bit moody and you know I just have to be mindful that that is what's going on and that you don't really know what anyone's going through so just doing little things like that as my part um, you know, that's what I'm trying to encourage in the next couple of years. Well, from here on out, um, that hopefully we can kind of go away from the gift giving. I mean, of course, little baby Flora, everybody's going to get her whatever her heart desires. There's no stopping that. Um, but as far as as adults, I just, you know, we need to spread a little bit more of Christmas cheer, just like Buddy the Elf says. Best way to spend, um, spread Christmas cheer, singing all for loud to er, What is it? The best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for those to hear. I think that's how you say it. So, singing loud, that could be positive, spreading positivity, what have you. Anyways, all right, now I'm going to add the onion. It says one medium onion. I guess you could consider that was a large onion. <laughs> so we'll just, we're only doing one for this recipe. All right. So now we have all of that. I am going to stir this a little bit. And then the last thing that we are gonna add is our hash browns our country style hash browns so we got the Publix brand um you, like I said you can get any brand that your heart desires um let's see oh let me do the salt oh no where is the salt well I found the salt and pepper but there's like <laughs> a literally a pinch of salt so we're just gonna make do we're, yeah. <laughs> Just gonna add the rest of that and then we're just gonna we're not measuring that all right so let's mix this all together um, you can just leave it on the table I'm almost done So, Travis, I was asking questions. I decided to ask Christmas questions. Mm -hmm. Do you want to answer one? Uh, I don't know what the question is. <laughs> um, oh, this is a good one for you because I was just saying that I don't like Christmas music and that makes me sound like a Scrooge. Sure does. <laughs> if you could only have one Christmas song available to hear over the Christmas season, which one would you choose? Travis loves Christmas music. He started listening to Christmas music in like August. January? <laughs> January. The start of the year. Um, what's the one? Uh, it's the one they play in Home Alone. I don't know. I can't remember what it is, but I think it's the Jingle Bell Rock. Oh, 
yeah. yeah. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. So we used to have a Santa that would move its hips and it would um, sing that song. And it was really creepy. <laughs> Somehow, it's I think it's arm or something got broken off. So whenever he would uh, be singing, it would just be like swinging around everywhere. Thanks for your contribution. Uh -huh. Alright, so I stirred that up. I am putting the hash browns into the bin. There's obviously not enough room for me to put the hash browns in this bowl. So I just decided that... Actually, I'm not going to put all of these just yet. I'm going to add some and then start adding. Woo, this is a heavy bowl. All right, while I'm doing this, I'll do another question. Spend your holidays with one celebrity. Who would it be and why? Hmm. This is gonna sound totally ridiculous, but Probably, I really like Taylor Swift. I don't feel, I don't consider myself a Swifty, as they call them, like the hardcore fans, but I would love to spend time with her. Um, I just think she's very creative and probably a good time. And yeah, who would you guys spend your holiday with? If you, with what celebrity, if you were able to. I'm trying to think who else I would even consider. Um, maybe Adam Sandler. I think that would be fun. My husband will love that. He loves Adam Sandler. My favorite movie in the whole world is um, The Wedding Singer. Hands down. My second favorite movie is Selena. My third favorite movie um is Step Brothers. So maybe <laughs> Adam Sandler, um Selena, unfortunately, you know, is no longer with us. May she rest in peace. And then maybe Will Farrow. So how about Adam Sandler, Taylor Swift, and Will Farrow? I know it just said pick one, but we're breaking the rules. So comment down below who you would want to spend your holidays with. It doesn't have to be like a well-known celebrity. It could be someone who inspires you. I don't know if this is a good idea. is cold because these hash browns were they weren't frozen they were in the refrigerator but oh my gosh freezing oh, oh my gosh oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my gosh that's so cold I can't do it okay Nothing like a good old fashioned mixing with your hands. Let's put those all back in there and then let's spread it out. I think that did fairly well. Let's kind of even it. So I was just remembering a one of my, just a memory growing up. Um, Mama, aka Christy Creates, 
used to make me and my brother, I don't remember what, like my um, her doing this for my brother so much, but um, for me, we had one of those marshmallow jackets. I think mine was red, and then eventually I had a blue one, I think. Um, but I hated that thing, I hated it. So I remember whenever it was cold, she would always tell me to wear it and um, you know, don't take it off, you need to wear it. Um, so I, I remember wearing it on the bus and then like immediately, as soon as I got on that bus, I took it off and I put it in my, um, my backpack. Surprisingly it fit in there, because I'm telling you, these jackets were just huge. I hated them, they were so uncomfortable. Um, probably was freezing my tail off, because I was just a little, it sounds like such a bratty thing to do. She had the best intentions, obviously, but did not want to do it. All right, so I am gonna take the butter and I'm gonna put it in this bowl. I am just going to heat it up. It's my version of melting. <laughs> heat it up for about 15, 20 seconds. Then I am going to get a large bag. And how many frosted flakes are we using? So we're gonna do two cups of corn, uh, crushed corn flakes. I have frosted flakes, whoops, um, I messed that, up, messed that up last time, and then one stick of butter melted. So once the butter is done, we are going to take these frosted flakes and we're going to put two cups in the bag. four cups since this is a double recipe. I was like, this does not seem like a lot. Oops, got a straggler. All right, this is four cups, so we may be adding more because this just looks wimpy. So the recipe says put corn flakes, pour it, put corn flakes on top, and then pour melted butter over corn flakes. Let's see if the butter has melted. I'm just gonna kind of layer this over the top. Oh yeah, this is not gonna be enough. doesn't even cover one side. I do not approve. All right, we're totally about to do four more cups. <laughs> Excuse me while I make this better.
perfect if I do say so myself. All right, now we're gonna add the butter. We have to do, actually we're gonna have to do two sticks. While we're melting that, let's call the star, the star of the show herself. Oh, hi. Hi, what are you doing? Oh, just um, making a little video. Nice, very good. Say hello to your Christy Creates fan club. Oh, very good, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a question. Yeah. Since this is a double recipe, um, okay. do I bake it any longer than normal? No, I would do it just the same amount. Okay. If it looks like it needs to be done on the top more, you can keep it in a little bit longer, but it should, because that pan, I think, will split, spread it out pretty well. Okay. I think it still should be the same amount of time or whatever. Okay, cool. Yep. All okay, right. Okay, going okay? Yeah. Leslie got the baby a gift. I was like, oh, my God, a gift for the baby. Aww. So, I can't wait to show y'all tonight. Tell her I said thank you. <laughs> I haven't opened it or anything. Yeah, I'll tell her. Aw. Well, have fun. Okay. Are you having fun? Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay. Baby's sleeping. All right, honey. Huh? <laughs> so the, the baby's, baby's napping. <laughs> I love it. That's so. funny. All right. All right. Well, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Okay. This bowl was very hot because I used it to melt the butter the first time. Oops, some of the pieces apparently were not melted. It's okay. They'll melt while they're baking. All right. Let's get her in the oven. So um, as you heard, we're still going to do 45 minutes. Don't need any extra time if you're doing a double recipe. Okay. Let's see what she looks like when we're finished. So good. Don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of um, toasted brown on the top. It's really good. Let me set it down before I drop it. It's an awkward, awkward. So this is the finished product. Like I was trying to say, it has 
it's very toasty on the top um, and looks very good I'm super excited to dig into this I'm not gonna do a taste test um, are you excited over there I'm not gonna do a taste test because um, we are taking this to a holiday party like I mentioned but um, I would definitely suggest giving it a try All right, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed um, watching this and watching me make one of my favorite recipes. I really enjoyed being able to um, guest host, I guess. Um, so I hope that you guys will like and subscribe and comment down below any answers to the questions, the Christmas questions that I had in this video. Um, I really would love to see, you know, what some of your answers are, especially the celebrity question. Um, oh, no. You guys say goodbye? You guys say goodbye? So yes, um, comment down below, like subscribe, support my mama. Um, she deserves all the support in the world, and she really enjoys cooking and making all of these um, crafts and all the, the various things that she does. It's something that she really enjoys, and I hope you guys really enjoy her channel. So we are going to sign off. You guys say bye, Flora. I'm going to say bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Flora. Bye-bye. 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 Like, who am I saying bye to? Who am I saying bye to? Say bye bye. Look, bye bye. Bye bye. Can you say mama? Mama? I'm just not feeling it today. All right, you guys, take care and happy holiday season from me and Flora and everyone here at Christy Creates. Bye.